Welcome to the All City Music Program. This is the information session for the All City Beginning Band, including registration and instrument fitting. This video is to help beginning band students and their family members know and understand what band is all about. Please be sure to sign in. Note, students and families come to the information sessions with different levels of interest. Please feel free to look through the information Watch the informational video, let your student try out the instruments, and ask all the questions you have. I am glad to accept your registration paper whenever you are ready. My name is Kristen Thomas Durrell. I instruct the All City Beginning Band. Most students call me Mrs. Durrell. I look forward to helping you learn about working as a group to play in a band, your instrument, including playing, cleaning, and all other things you need to know, reading music, playing pieces of music, and other band-related information. I'd also love to have some fun. Make sure you have gotten these three things. Sign-up sheet. It is white. Handbook insert. It is on orange paper. Schedule. It is on yellow paper. The document containing our expectations and procedures has been delayed in printing for reasons outside of our control. Therefore, do not sign the sign-up sheet. Give me all of the contact information so I can make note of it, then I will send the expectations and procedures document home with the original sign-up sheet for you to sign after reading the document. I will review some important things to know about when you commit to being in an instrumental ensemble like a band. Students, it is important to listen to the next section. Later, you will get to read this information on a paper. Plus, I will make sure you know and understand everything that is expected of you when you start band. Come to rehearsal with a positive and productive attitude. Fully participate in group activities and individual assignments. Listen carefully during rehearsals and ask questions if you don't understand. Always treat others, instructors, and equipment with respect. Negative language or name calling is not acceptable. Take care of your instrument and band belongings. We will teach you how. Have all materials with you during band and take good care of them. Play your instrument only when you are asked to play. Keep our space clean and in order. Food, drinks, and gum are not permitted during band. Try your best to be on time and ready to play by the beginning of rehearsal with all of your materials ready. Keep a pencil in your folder or instrument case. Please note, All City Music, Band and Choir, is a group that is run by the Lansing School District. All district policies and student handbook rules and procedures apply to this activity. Tardies and absences. We want you here. If you are not at rehearsal, it impacts the entire music ensemble. If you are sick or you cannot be at rehearsal for any reason, please be sure to let the instructors know during the day or ask your parents to email or call the instructors to let us know. We will not be complete without everyone present. Practice, practice, practice. Learning an instrument can be very fun, but requires practice to keep it fun. Students are encouraged to practice skills learned at rehearsals at home for at least 20 minutes each day. The more you practice, the more you will feel confident and the more fun band will be. Practice fun things too. I can help you find fun things to play. Just ask. Materials and supplies. We provide most materials and supplies for the students. Many of them are inexpensive, so if you wish to buy them yourself, your student can return what I gave them. Clarinet and saxophone players will need reeds. The district will provide one reed a month, but families will need to get their students reeds. Students tend to need a few extra reeds in their cases at all times, especially when they are first learning to assemble and play their instrument. The strength of the reed should be two and a half for beginners. I can give advice about purchasing reeds if you have questions. Things we will supply you with are band method book, music folder, mouthpiece for your chosen instrument, including a ligature for clarinets, 
cleaning swab and cork grease for saxophones and clarinets, valve and slide oil and slide grease for brass instruments. Clarinet and saxophone students will be provided with one read per month. Instruments. I allow students to take their instruments home once they've demonstrated the knowledge and skills of assembly and beginning ideas of care. Not only does this keep district materials safe, it will help families not have to pay for damage due to negligence or loss. If an instrument needs repair because of normal wear and tear, the district will cover the cost. If an instrument needs repair because of loss, negligence, or improper use, families are expected to cover the cost. Students will be provided a separate instrument registration form that must be signed and returned before the student can take their instrument home. Here are a few things that can help your student care for their instrument. Your student will be instructed not to remove, unscrew, or otherwise tamper with any parts that I have not taught them to use. It takes time to teach them everything about the instrument so not to overwhelm your student. When the instrument is at your home, please keep it in a safe place. It is best to find a place out of the reach of young children in the home. If something seems wrong with the instrument, do not try to fix it. Bring it to me so I can evaluate it and or fix it myself. Have your students open their cases on the floor or on a sturdy table that is large enough to fit the whole case. Students should be sure that they open their case on the correct side. The word top is written on the district instrument cases. That is the side that should be up when the case is opened. Please return your instrument to its case when you are finished playing it. Handbook insert. The multi-page registration form that you will receive later is used by all of the All City Ensembles we provide. I have made a separate sheet with some other information that is for our group. It is orange. Important things to note. I work at multiple buildings, so it is hard for me to get voicemails and messages over the phone. It is easiest to email me, but if you need to call, I have noted what schools I am on what day on the handbook insert so the front office of whichever school can get a hold of me. I have a website that I post our materials and, at time, instructional videos. Please click the All City Beginning Band link. The website is k-r-i-s-t-e-n-d-u-r-r-e-l-l dot weebly dot com. From the home page, click All City Band at the top and scroll down for the information. I send newsletters home about every two weeks and will send a PDF to the email address you provide. If your child does not attend a rehearsal, please let me know. I would like to help students make up missed work. We will have two concerts at Gardner, December 12, 2018 and May 22, 2019. Please go ahead and mark those in your calendar. They are noted on the schedule. We hope to perform at the yearly Lansing School District Showcase. Students will be provided a separate instrument registration form that must be signed and returned before the student can take their instrument home. Please be looking for that form. Schedule. It is yellow. I provide a detailed schedule, but an easy way to think about it is that we have band on every Late Start Wednesday and every Monday that we have school. We do not have band if school is closed. As mentioned before, please note the dates of our concerts. We also hope to perform at the yearly Lansing School District Showcase. Information will be provided closer to that event. First day of band, Wednesday, October 10th. Arrive around 8.10. We start at 8.20. Families, please drop your student off at the main entrance to Gardner as shown in the following video. Students, you should head toward room 12, 
which is where you will get to try out your instruments later. I will post signs just in case you forget. Parents, you are welcome to walk your student in. I will assign a seat for you and get you a name tag. Please bring all of the things you will need for your school day with you to band as you will go directly to your school after band. Note, students should not arrive before 7.45 a.m. on Wednesday mornings. If this is a problem, please see me so we can try to work something out. Second day of band, Monday, October 15th. Families, please use the same drop-off spot. This will be where you pick up your student as well. Students can begin arriving around 4.30 p.m. They should come straight to the band room. We will respect Gardner by staying in our area of the school. Students coming from Atwood, Sheridan Road, Mount Hope, or North. We understand that rehearsal starts soon after the end of school. We appreciate your effort to get to Gardner as soon as possible. If your student needs to eat something in between school and band, that is fine. We will ask them to finish it in the hallway and rinse their mouth before they play their instrument. Please be there to pick up your student at 6 p.m. Students start packing up around 5.58, so they should be out of the door by 6.05 to 6.10. Well, that was a wealth of information, and I know you may need time to take it in. So. Please take your time and let me know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. Thank you for your interest in All City Band.